Uh, hi everyone, it's me again. The chapter for Black Clover 291, A Far Low Ranks Duel. Honestly, I was pretty impressed on it. I still have some questions with what's going to happen next, but it finally did address some of the things um, I was asking for the last chapter. So let's get started. So the chapter begins with the defeat of the high ranking devils. They're slowly disintegrating. I love the artwork of them like just turning into dust. Nat um, notices that Asta's devil unit you know, hasn't been perfected yet, but he still congratulates him on his victory. Asta smiling, he says that he sounds like yummy. And of course, it, this kind of like uh, angers not and uses his shadows to threaten him, saying, Who sounds like who? Honestly, I, I, I love seeing that little side of Nat every now and then. And he even recalls that Asta reminds him of his past self. Finally, we get to see some of the limitations of Asta's Devil Union. One, like as I talked about, uh, Asta's Devil Union, he could only hold it for five minutes. And as I predicted, there is a cooldown. The cooldown is 30 minutes. But unfortunately, not only he cannot use the Devil Union, he also cannot use the Black Asta form. Nat notices this um, unfortunate disadvantages now that they have it during the fight with the Devils and their triad. He realizes 30 minutes is going to be quite hard to hold on. Morris is still um, speeding the Tree of Death. and. They still haven't finished fighting the Dark Triad yet, so he believes that they need to defeat the Dark, the dark Triad uh, right away. Finally, we get to go back to the fights with the Dark Triad. The first one we go back, well, the only one for this chapter, is the one against uh, Dante and Jack. We see that uh, Jack's magic is no longer having any effect on Dante's magic. As soon as he opening up the first gate of the Tree of Death, um, Jack's magic it, its unable to do anything to Dante because his body magic already surpassed his. We see Jack is incredibly injured and he, it looks like he has no hope of winning. Before Dante could kill uh, Jack, uh, finally we get to see Sora and Magna back in action. Of course, Jack is like, he recognizes them and he knows that they're one of the weakest members of uh, Johnny's squad. He tells him, dude, what the hell are you doing? You need to get back away immediately. Uh, I see that Magna and Sora are, they're not gonna back down. Even Magna says that he's gonna, he's gonna rescue uh, Yami. But after defeating Dante, I'm wondering, uh, how the hell is he gonna do this? I mean, Magna, I love this character, but he's pretty weak. So I'm like, how they're gonna do justice to his characters? And honestly, yeah, I love what they did here, but I still have some questions. So let, let me continue with the review of the, of the whole chapter. Despite Magna's um, saying that he's gonna defeat uh, Dante, Dante, he doesn't feel threatened. I mean, he feels the power of both of them. It's incredibly low. He says that he has no interest in fighting both of them. However, Magna says that he, uh, Dante is gonna face him, him alone. He's not relying on Sora. So I'm like, wait, what? How the hell uh, Magna is gonna do this? I mean, Dante is incredibly powerful. I mean, he literally took uh, Jami, Asta uh, to, to take them down. I mean, Dante, like I said, he's unimpressed and he, he raises his magic power and this Frightens Magna. I mean, he, he's already sweating and shaking in fear. Then we get to see a flashback. Uh, during the battle where uh, Yami gets captured, we see that Sora and Magna were quite near the, the Black Bull's base. But Sora told him that he hadn't perf perfected his magic yet and that he would just get in the way or probably even get killed. We see that this affected Magna a lot. He said he didn't even want to return to the Hydra until he perfected his magic and became stronger. 
Then we get back to the chapter once again. Dante says he has no intentions of using his his magic on him. And even taunts him. I talk all you want. As usual, Magna uses his fireball attacks and throws it at him. But there's a huge difference in when, with the attack that he, he uses against Dante. Once the smoke clears, we see that there's a chain at, attached to uh, Dante's chest. And there's like a little magic circle within it. And as soon as that chain is is attached to Dante, his 100% form uh, disappears. I was like, what the hell? What is Magna doing? So the magic that uh, they were talking about with Sol, right? Said that he hadn't perfected it yet. I guess this is his magic. And he calls it uh, hidden fire magic. Soul chain death match. Even the attack sounds pretty cool, the name. And it makes me wonder what exactly he does. He kind of explains it, but I still have more questions. He said that he added his magic power and Dante's magic power within the chain and uh, even it out so that, that it balances. And we get to see that uh, the other side of the chain is attached to Magnus' chest. So what he's saying is true. So he's using the chain, I mean the chain with Dante's magic and his magic and just so it kind of balances. It kind of reminds me of um, that guy from the um, Kiara family that he uses the scale magic. He balances at the end of his opponent's magic. So in a way it kind of reminded me of that. And as soon as um, Dante loses his 100% of form, Magda literally punches him. He's able to do some damage. And this is where the chapter ends. Honestly, it was pretty interesting to see uh, the improvement uh, in Magna's magic. Honestly, I didn't see this coming. I just hope that his uh, form isn't too overpowered. I mean, he's not very strong. Who knows if there's even some drawbacks of even like balancing the magic, the demonic magic that uh, Dante is using with his. I mean, who knows? I, I feel something bad is going, bad is gonna happen. I'm still not sure. I mean, we we ha we still have to see uh, Sora in action. What kind of magic he he improved? You know, he uses ass magic, but he mostly relies on on traps that he sets. So who knows how much he has improved? But I mean, after seeing Magna, I can't wait to see Sora's abilities in action. But who knows, probably the next chapter we might get to see the other uh, Dark Friar fights. I mean, we might get to see um, finally Bonica or the one with um, Zenon. Zenon, I mean, God, it's been a long day. But overall, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll hope to see you in the next one.